Welcome to Morning Karate Thought, hashtag free. Today's subject is Kihon. What is Kihon? Kihon in Japanese means fundamental or basic. I personally don't like to use the basic term because through the karate we're going through the grades when you might be advanced but you're doing still Kihon, um, which basic mean, implies that it's something very simple. I prefer a fundamental. So foundation, you're building on foundations, but you keep learning new foundations uh, for like ex new skills. So like you're building the house, you've got the foundation for one house, you're building it up, then you're building the extension, you put the foundations. Same with karate, you're learning skills through the white, yellow, green belt, then you're learning new foundations for a brown, black, and so on. So for me, foundation is better term used in relation to martial arts but traditionally kihon you see people lining up especially in japanese dojos um, and performing actions from the karate syllabus in lines mixing air um, improving their aesthetics uh, the line of the punch the alignment the trajectory um, that's kind of uh, usual kihon and people do that as a warm-up exercise. So you're starting with a uh, body warm-up exercises, then you go through the kihon as a joint muscle uh, warm-up, in my opinion, and building up on those um, strikes, kicks, blocks, and movements. For us, kihon is everything that leads to a actual fight, sport, or uh, self-defense. But all the action you're taking before it's kihon so it might be a combination in uh, uh, without partners or solo it might be a combination on a part it might be a combination with a partner it might be a, a kata or uh, applications of the kata with a partner movement it might be standing in the lines and and punching kicking and uh, blocking although we don't do that very much uh, anymore because I think it's a bit of a waste of time. It's better to do those combinations with a partner on pads, on with the gloves, um, using actual physical target that moves response and it just brings um, people up to speed and technically up. Although it's not so aesthetically pleasing, um, but it's safer for knees and joints, uh, in my opinion. So basically, Kihon, funda fundamental techniques that you build upon to get better in whatever your activity is. If it's a sporting, then you do a sports activities, fighting, sparring. Depends on the which for form of, of it you're doing. If it's a MMA, then your foundational training will be uh, consisting of different things. If it's a knockdown, then your specific foundation training will be a little bit different. If it's a light contact, again, that would be different. If it's a throwing, takedowns and grappling, then the foundations are different. But all the martial arts got the kihon and they all got the foundation. They just don't call it that way. And it's not structured exactly the same as karate. All that changes with the kihon started within a kind of move to the world's Japanese uh, karate. So move from Okinawa. Uh, what I learned, and I believe, correct me if it's not true, uh, the Okinawans train more with the partner and on the tools, so makiwara and so on, um, which in Japan is more kind of a militaristic style when people are in a uh, lines and doing independently, so it's easier to assess everybody and put the right form on everybody. It's just simple to manage. Um, in European dojos, it's a mixed bag. Some people don't do kihon at all. Some people do kihon a lot. Um, it all depends on on which which school you're doing and how people are gonna do and what they wanna do. For us, all the activities before actual competition or fight on the street, it is a kihon. So, if you enjoy this one, the best way to support us is to watch the another one. If you would like to subscribe and hit the notification button, that will help us a lot. And um, there's some merch and stuff in the links down below. So check it out and see you tomorrow.